Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris. Out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And today I'm out on my 21 Honda Gold Wing. And a lot of you have been wondering where have I been? Why haven't you not seen me over the past couple of weeks? Your boy Chris has been sick. I've been down with COVID. That's right, and I'm catching COVID, y'all. So I've been really, really sick. And I'm gonna talk to you about how sick I was right here doing this video. So let's get started. shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. So a lot of you have been wondering why have you not seen me over the past couple of weeks? That's because I came down with COVID came down with COVID y'all your boy Chris was really really sick so much so that I thought I was gonna have to check into the hospital you know the Parker factor was a little bit high y'all but I'm glad that God brought me through it brought me out of it that's one of the reasons why I haven't put out any material over the past couple of weeks I actually been in isolation for about two weeks so what are some of the symptoms that I started having? Well, I was running a fever of about 103 degrees. I was coughing. Every time I cough, I bark like a dog. It sounded like a dog was barking. My abdomen was hurting. I had body aches, lightheaded, dizzy. Man, I had the works, y'all. Woo! I was so sick, I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital. So, when I first started feeling bad, you know, I didn't know what was actually going on. So, about a couple of days later, after I started having some, some symptoms, I actually went to the, to the doctor and they tested me for COVID. And they said that your results are negative. But they said, since you're having some of these symptoms, um, you're probably testing too soon. So, give it a few days and retest, you know, do a home test in a few days. So about three days later, I was feeling even worse. And the first lady gave me a home test and it was positive. So at that point, I said, well, let me go back to the doctor and uh, just, you know, verify uh, what the home test is showing. Uh, made an appointment, went back to the doctor and the test was positive, it was positive. So they actually put me on some COVID antiviral medicine is called Paxlovid. I think it's called Paxlovid, if you guys are familiar with it. Uh, you know, when COVID first came out, you know, they didn't have any medication that was prescribed for the COVID virus. But now, I'm not sure when they actually released it, but now you can actually uh, get the medication for uh, the COVID virus. Now, it's not approved yet by the FDA, but I think they approved it, you know, for an emergency use until they can actually, uh, I guess, put the final stamp of approval on it. So they got a couple of different medications out there you can take, three pills a day, five days a week. And I'm here to tell you, man, at first I tried to get through it without having to take the COVID medicine. You know, I thought I could just, you know, I thought I could just get through it. Uh, but unfortunately, I was too sick, y'all. I was too sick. So anyway, they put me on the COVID medicine uh, three pills a day and I'm here to tell you that medicine is awful it's not bad going down you know some people call it horse pills I, it, the pills it wasn't that big to me at least the Paxlovid wasn't that big but took the pills about an hour after I would take the pills man I would get sicker uh, 
I would get this nasty taste in my mouth. It tastes like drinking pest pesticides or something. I mean, just god awful nasty. Bad taste in my mouth. Couldn't hardly breathe. Uh, it was making my blood pressure go up, and I've never had any blood pressure issues ever. Uh, so thank God that he was able to bring me through it. I feel so much better. Been in isolation for about two weeks. Uh, I like to thank the first lady for actually taking good care of me during the time I was down. You know, she took really good care of me. So shouts out to the first lady. You know, running my errands. You know, going to the store, picking up the food, bringing it home, preparing the meal, serving it to me, coming back, picking up the dishes, washing the dishes out, doing laundry, cleaning up the house, just doing the things that she normally do, which I wasn't surprised because she do those things anyway. But uh, I like to just thank God for the first lady for taking good care of me, just making sure that I had everything I need, uh, just making sure that I was comfortable. You know, whatever I needed, she took care of it. So, shouts out to the first lady. And also, a lot of you out there that watches my vid uh, started, you know, reaching out, you know, trying to see where I was. You hadn't heard from me. So, shouts out to the viewers that actually called or text to just check on me, you know. It feels good when you know people out there actually care about you. Uh, some people out there, you know, you know, they don't know if you're dead or alive, but... Shouts out to uh, the Caliente viewers, the followers, people that watching my videos from all over. Just call to check on me just to make sure that your boy Chris was okay. So I'd like to give a shout out to Brad out there in Utah for checking on me, making sure that I was okay. Brad actually has a 2023 uh, new Hunter Gold Wing. So shouts out to Brad out there in Utah. i also like to give a shout out to Leroy out there in North Carolina. Leroy has a 2023 new Honda Gold Wing as well. Leroy called me daily, checking on me, making sure that I was okay. Also, like to give a shout out to Overshine. Overshine out there in Texas. Overshine got the new Gold Wing. He has the 21 Honda Gold Wing. Shouts out to Overshine for calling to check on your boy Chris to make sure that I was okay. I would also like to give a shout out to Peter. Peter out there in Minnesota. Peter actually picked up a previous generation gold wing. I think he has the 16 or 17. But shouts out to Peter for reaching out, checking on me, making sure that I was okay. Shouts out to Charles out there in North Carolina. Appreciate you there, Charles, for checking on your boy Chris every other day when I was down with this COVID. Also, Brian. Brian out there in Indiana. What's up, Brian? I appreciate you, my brother. Brian has a 2100 gold wing. He was calling to check on me, making sure that I was okay. So it feels good knowing that some of you, the people that watches my vids and follow me, uh, they were just concerned, making sure that I was that I was okay. They hadn't seen me in a couple of weeks. Shouts out to Will out there in North Carolina. Shouts out to Will. Will actually has two gold wings. Appreciate you there, Will, for calling and checking on me when I was down with the COVID. Road Glide. Appreciate you there, Road Glide, out there in Texas for calling and emailing me, reaching out, making sure that I was okay. I also like to give a shout out to Brother Cowboy out there in Texas checking on me, making sure that your boy Chris was feeling okay. Joker, Pennsylvania, appreciate you there, Joker, for reaching out, checking on me. And also Dustin, aka Warwagon, appreciate you there, my brother, out there in southern Mississippi. You know, this COVID man is something serious. I know a lot of people probably thought it was a host. You know, a lot of you out there, I'm not taking no vaccine i'm not taking the jab and that's your right nothing wrong with that everybody is entitled to their their feelings to their opinion but i took the vaccination i got vaccinated i took three shots uh two shots of moderna and also uh one shot of the pfizer i didn't do the fourth booster but i did you know i did three 
but that's your choice if you didn't want to get the vaccination I respect everybody's feelings and uh, I hope everybody respect the way that I feel if I could do it over again I would still take the vaccination I didn't have any complications from it uh, I had a sore arm I think that was the biggest complication that I had I didn't get sick or anything from it uh, I know a lot of you out there well you don't know what they put in the, the vaccine well, you're right I don't know what they put in Tylenol <laughs> I just know it works <laughs> well anyway I just thank God for the first lady once again for just looking after me and making sure that I was okay and I'm just glad that I'm able to get back on my 2100 gold wing man cause springtime is just around the corner and uh, I love the ride even though it was cold today it's 48 degrees out 48 degrees out on the 2100 gold wing 48 degrees I see the gasoline is constantly creeping up. Now it was up to what three, three bucks, three, a little bit over three dollars. It was down to about two fifty. Now it was up to almost three dollars, and I guess it's gonna go over three dollars before we know it, depending on where you live. Out in the west, it's probably already over five dollars. So I'm just out here cruising, y'all. Actually, uh, this is the first time I actually had the chance to use my pen lock uh, anti-fog insert on my Shoei helmet. Uh, that was the last video I actually made. If you guys uh, missed the video of the pin lock installation on the Shoei helmet, you can click on that link in the top corner. I also did an install on the HJC. Some of you guys uh, wear the HJC helmets. I also did a, a pin lock anti-fog insert on that helmet as well. You can click on that link if you missed that video uh, but I'm out here testing out my my anti-fog shield the insert uh, no issues at all I have the fire and ice seat on toasty it's hot y'all I got it on go get it got the buns warm in the day recording and filming in 4k hope you guys can hear me okay hopefully my audio is good how do you guys hear my audio how does it sound to you on your end so I got a lot of videos that I need to get out kind of backlogged actually uh, shouts out to Viofo out there in overseas in China that watch my videos Viofo actually sent me um, the dual dash cam another one uh, to install on this new Honda Goldwing, so stay tuned to the channel. I'm gonna install the Viofo dual dash cam on this 21 Honda Goldwing. I've already installed it on my 2016 Honda Goldwing. But if you guys missed that video, you can click on that link in the top corner if you wanna watch the Viofo installation on the on the 16 Honda Goldwing. And the next one, I'm gonna put it on this 21 Honda Goldwing. So how many of you that already went out? After seeing my Viofo install, how many of you went out and purchased that that Viofo dual dash cam? And if so, how do you like it? How do you like it? And speaking of Viofo, speaking of Viofo, I want to give a shout out to Run. Uh, Run has a Harley trike. He has a Harley trike, and uh, he installed the. Viofo dual dash cam on his Harley trike so he sent me some pictures so shouts out to Ron out there in Wilmington Delaware with the Harley trike that installed the Viofo man your bike looks amazing Ron also I want to give a shout out to Tom Bear Tom Bear out there in uh, Waco Texas for uh, checking on your boy Chris and making sure that I was okay when I was down with the COVID so I know I'm going to get in trouble because I'm leaving some names out. But if I didn't call your name, charge it to my head, not to my heart. If I didn't call your name. But shouts out to Tom Bear. Uh, Tom Bear also has the new Honda Gold Wing as well. So a lot of you went out there and purchased this new Gold Wing. A lot of you have been reaching out to me that has purchased this new Honda Gold Wing. How many of you that watches my videos recently purchased the the new Honda Goldwing. Be sure to put that down in the, the comment section below. 
So I'm just out here cruising, y'all. It's been a while since, it's been over two weeks since I've been on this, this new Honda Goldwing. That COVID had me down, y'all. Woo! A fever of 103, body aches and chills and coughing and congestion. Oh man, I was sick, y'all. Thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital, but God brought me out. He brought me through it, so thank God for keeping me, uh, keeping my health up, keeping my strength up. So, even got me a warm cup of coffee today. I'm showing 49 degrees out. Today is actually the second day that I've drink coffee in over probably three weeks. It's been a minute, y'all. I miss my coffee. Gotta have some coffee in the cup. So I'm just out here cruising trying to get the ride in because the weatherman actually called for rain today. It rained uh, this morning and it's supposed to rain this evening. So uh, I decided to just get out and take this opportunity to let y'all know that your boy Chris is back. I'm not 100%, I'm more like 90%. But I am back out on the Honda Go Wing, and so just be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Got a lot of videos that I'm gonna be putting up. Shouts out to Gold Strike. I got a lot more Gold Strike accessories that I'm going to install on this new Honda Go Wing. What do you guys think of my Gold Strike flag that I have on this Honda Go Wing? I know one of you reached out and said that my flag is on the wrong side. So the flag that's on my Honda Go Wing is temporary and I have a fix for it. So stay tuned to the channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys my fix. It's not broken, but I'm gonna show you my fix on the uh, flag that's on my Honda Go Wing. So I'm just out here cruising y'all, trying to get the ride in today. It's chilly out. I'm wearing my hot wired heated gear underneath. I have it on medium, along with the Corbin seat, and it feels toasty. Um, see, some of you trying to hit me up on the Caliente line. Shout out to to Joby, Joby out in Texas. Shouts out to Joby out there in Texas. He has a Honda Gold Wing. Shouts out to you there, Joby. I see you, my brother. Well, anyway, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. If you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you would like to support the Caliente channel, be sure to check the description of the video. I'm going to uh, list some ways that you could actually support your boy Chris and the uh, YouTube channel. So. Shouts out to everyone. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. And I'll talk to you guys later. Also, if you guys picked up the new Honda Gold Wing, be sure to put that down in the comment section below. If you guys picked up the new Honda Gold Wing, or if you're planning on picking up the new Honda Gold Wing, be sure to put that down in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.